Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, last week we made a video about what sort of breed of hamster would suit you. So following on from that video, I'm now going to talk about what sort of general care you should give your hamster. So the first thing that you're going to need for your hamster is a large cage. I do recommend these to all types of hamsters. There's the Alaska, there's the Skyline Alexander and the Skyline Barney. Now you can buy these on Zoo Plus, which I'll put the description in down below. Once you have bought the cage, you'll need to buy some hideouts and toys to place into their cage. You also need to buy some chewing toys because their teeth are constantly growing so fast. So these will help you cut down their teeth and stop any medical issues occurring. Now this is my new baby Cookie and he has just had his cage upgraded and he is now in the Alaska. So he's absolutely loving it. He doesn't he doesn't like his old one anymore. I think this is his new favourite. He's come to say hello. So the next thing you're gonna need is bedding for your hamster's new home. You're gonna need plenty of bedding because hamsters love to borrow, so I'd I'd say at least put three to four inches inside their cage. So there are safe and non-safe type of bedding, so I'm now going to talk to you about the safe types. Safe bedding includes Aspen, Paper Bedding, Wood Chip, Carefresh, K-Tree or Clean and Cozy. Depending where you live, you can get this in your location. Now let's discuss about the non-safe type of bedding. Non-safe bedding that you shouldn't use is pine, cedar, scented bedding and soft wood as they can cause respiratory problems. Also, if you have a house for your hamster, you need to place safe bedding into that too. So, for your hamster's house, I would suggest that you lay the bottom of it with wood chip and then place the top for bedding with a shredded paper or shredded loo roll, which has to be unscented, as this will make it nice and warm and cosy for them. Do not use Soft and Plague from Pets at Home, Wilkinson's or Jolly's Pet Store as it is not safe to have inside your hamster's bedding as it is very dangerous. This bedding is killing animals as this can get stuck in their pouches, tangled around their legs and little fingers which can cause circulation problems. It can also get stuck in their digestive system and get wrapped around their teeth. Cat pack bedding can also cause health risks too so please avoid these. So for your hamster, you're going to have to buy them a wheel because when they're in the wild, they run up to nine kilometres, which is five and a half miles. So they need a wheel to use up all their energy at night. Syrian hamsters need a wheel which meets the requirements of 28 centimetres by seven centimetres. For Chinese, Roboski and Campbell hamsters, I personally recommend that they have a 22 centimetre wheel. So that way you haven't got the worry of their backs bending. You need to stay away from the wire and mesh wheels as these can damage their feet and their limbs. Please do not buy any smaller wheel for your hamster as this can severely damage their back and make their backs bend. Now for your hamster they're going to need a water bottle or a water bowl. If you choose to have a water bowl they need to be cleaned out every day whereas a bottle of water would need to be done every couple of days. Once you've set up your hamster's cages and got everything ready, and once you've brought them home, place them into their cage and put them in a room where it is draught free and away from sunlight. You can place their cage near the sound of your family, but not too close to loud sound, as this can make animals anxious and scared. For your hamsters, you need to give them a well-balanced diet containing all essential nutrients and minerals. A compound palleted ration of mixture of different seeds Commercial rations are formulated to meet their biological needs. You don't need to refill their cage two days after feeding them because they take their food out of their bowls and stuff it in their pouches. So they'll take it to their bed and they'll hold it for a couple of days and it may even last up to a week or more. Now we're on to cleaning your house cages out. I will clean them out once a month depending on the size of their cage. If they have an extra large cage, cleaning would be as little as once a month where if it was a smaller cage, it would be once a week. You should be spot cleaning in between cage clearouts, 
and removing their toilet areas every several days. When you do clean out their cages, make sure you aren't using any harsh chemicals. I would suggest popping into your local pets at home and buying their green small animal antibacterial cleaner as that is the best product to use. Every two months I suggest you do a deep clean of your hamster's cage. This is because where they do wheeze and their bedding engraves into the bottom of the cage, it can get really stuck at the bottom. So to do this I would suggest you put some pets at home antibacterial inside the cage and soak it with hot water. Let it soak for about half an hour to an hour and then scrub it and then it should look as good as new. I would avoid giving your hamster a bath if possible because it can get rid of their natural oils on their skin and their fur. The only time if it's an emergency and they've got something stuck in the fur is the best time to give them a bath. I would suggest using a hamster free fragrance shampoo which you can buy in pets at home or any pet store um, and also recommend a sand bath which you can invest in as well. You can go to any pet store and ask for some chinchilla bath sand. Now I've got some Tiny Friends Farm bathing sand here. It's suitable for chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils and degas as well. My hamsters absolutely love it. Um, Ruby's got one in her tank. Cherry's got one. They've all got one. And they absolutely love it. So I recommend that you should go to any pet store. It could be a Pets at Home. It could be a Jolly's. It could be, if you're in a small town, it could be a small town pet shop as well. Um, if you do go in there, I would recommend asking for chinchilla sand bath because hamsters love it. And you can also buy little baths to put the sand in. So they're really handy. So give it a go and see how your hamster gets on. Let me know in the comments how they got on. In the description below, I will add the links on where you can get the different types of cages on Zoo Plus, where you can find the bathing sand baths and bathing sand, and the type of shampoo that is good for hamsters and safe on their skin and fur. So from me, our four hamsters, and Mia, we'd all like to say goodbye. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, then please do it. And we'll all see you again in the next video. Bye, everyone.